Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost. The title is, Yahushua HaMashiach is the Answer. My child, write these words down for me. Many of my children are perplexed as to why they have not heard from me on whether to move or stay put. There is a great misunderstanding of my timing as coinciding with the timing of events and what is now happening around the world. Children, everything I do will be for your benefit, though you perceive nothing is moving on your behalf. Trust me on this. In heaven all is being aligned for the time you are to go. If you have been told you will move, you will be moved. Everything in heaven for your life has to be done in the right order. There are no mistakes made here. Do not become disheartened as you wait. My daughter, you too, need to remember all is being worked out for your good. Child, you and so many others are also asking me the same questions, waiting on answers. I am answering all now. I am is moving. I am has not forgotten you. You are my chosen vessels. I am refining so that you will be like gold. Everyone is in a different stage of refinement as I transform you from the inside out. I am not speaking of full transformation, so do not misinterpret my words. All must go through the refiner's fire, for I am the potter and you are the clay. Keep in mind I am outside of time, and in my timing it is all moving along quickly, but in your earthly time it appears to you that not much is going on, and that your answers will never come. This I speak to my chosen children that I have spoken to before about relocation. You will have your answers soon. To all those who walk with me, stay very close to me at this time, for the enemy is on the prowl, looking to keep you from fulfilling your destiny, from the call I have on your life. Wear your armor and wait on my instruction. Keep yourselves ready, for some of you will be called to move quickly, others will remain where they are now. You see many changes are occurring in the earthly realm. To those who have yet to return, you need to open your eyes and realize this leave it to beaver horse and pony show is over. They have put out viruses and there are more to come. They must have a reason to round masses of people up and it must always come under the guise that it is for your own good, that they are here to help. Children, do you see how they are enforcing their will upon all? Will anyone ever find those that have been taken? Their agenda has been in the works for decades, but now application is going forth. You ask, why would you, God, allow this? There are many things you children do not fully grasp and understand but you must look to the root cause of all of man's problems. It is sin. Sin is the cause. Sin permeates, and where sin is, Satan is. When the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has been removed, what happens? Look into your own lives. What happens when you allow sin to dominate your lifestyles? What good will come of this? You children scoff at repentance, believing this is not needed. It is this unbelief that takes most down in the end. I cannot look at sin. Cannot have anyone in filthy, stained garments enter in. I am pure. I am holy, but I am expected to let all in while they are covered in sin with no desire to repent. If any of you believe you will get in dressed in filth, you are sadly mistaken and been misguided. Repentance is mandatory for all. 
daily you err. You sin in your thoughts, your words, deeds, and actions. You must be washed daily and humble yourselves. Realize you are not infallible and open your eyes to truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Without me, there is no life everlasting. Come out from under the heretical doctrine of once saved, always saved. Do you not have free will to choose righteous living or to live as thou wilt? The doctrine of once saved, always saved is taking more people to hell than you can ever imagine. All have sinned, but even a backslider returns and falls on their face in true remorse. How many have made the decision that they would rather die in their sins and perish? My arms are always open to receive one with a contrite heart. Rest, the rest shall perish. I have given plenty of time, plenty of warnings, much love calling out to so many. My judgments will continue. Some I allow from the evil one. Satan and others are solely by my hand. I use evil for my purposes so you will see and comprehend the difference between good and evil. This is how many will be saved. It is only through the worst of times through much anguish and despair, and through tears, bringing one to brokenness when you realize you can't fix yourselves, your lives. Man cannot do it for you. You need a Savior, and I am the one that lived, died, and rose again for you. You need me. There is absolutely no other channel, God, mystic, diviner, that can save you. Yahushua HaMashiach is the answer. Many will eventually come to this realization as the world crumbles around you. You cannot channel spirits to help you unless you want Satan to take your soul to hell as he manipulates and plays with your mind. False False gods are made of stubble and stone. Worthless, mystics, diviners, witches, warlocks are all walking with Satan, have nothing to do with any of this. Get rid of Ouija boards, stay away from seances, stay away from everything that allows Satan in. Demons are actively at work taking over many souls. Remember, life is but a vapor. Partaking in the kingdom of darkness brings death and hellfire. Disconnect from those partaking in any occultic practice. Reconnect to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Renounce the devil. Repent to me. I offer eternal peace, love, joy, and salvation. Death loses its sting over you when you return. Breathe of heaven, or sorry, breath of heaven or the smell of sulfur, which would you rather have? Make decisions now. You are not guaranteed tomorrow, and I know the number of your days on earth. I created you. I brought you into the world, and I know when you will leave it. Stop playing around in these false religions of man demonic doctrine of once saved, always saved, of all occultic activity. Time is now. Tomorrow may never be nigh for you. Will you listen or continue to play tug of war with me? I hate sin, and all that is an abomination in my eyes should be in yours too. Wake up. Life is not a bed of roses. Plagues, persecution, and famine is fast becoming the mainstay, the way of the future. Prepare, prepare, prepare. It will get much worse, not better, until my return. 
spiritually, mentally, physically. Prepare yourselves. Do it now. Remove all that is not of me. Now is the time to get very close to me. I am your shield and the defender of the weak. You must be hidden under the shadow of my wings. I am your shelter. This comes through seeking intimacy with your creator, me. Time is short. Make use of the time you have left wisely. Stop buying your gadgets and trinkets and start investing in me. Use mammon wisely. Get the things one would need in dire times. Make wise choices. Do not delay what you can do today. Come into the secret place in me. I am your provider. Yet man has a responsibility to take care of his own. Prayer is essential. Direction comes from me if you diligently seek me. Walk in love. Count it all joy when trials and tribulations come your way. I chasten those I love, and Satan comes after those I love too, to stop you from going further, from pursuing me. He will do anything to hinder you, and he uses the same tactics from his bag of tricks, anything and everything to keep you frustrated, busy, distracted, so you will give up. Use your armor and gird up your loins daily. I am here. Where are you? Seek me now as the sand in the hourglass will run out. Return or perish. I love you. Follow me. Repent, return, or perish. I am the answer. Come back home, my children. All things work together for good for all those who love me. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.